first topic is what floats, what sinks. Let us start our experiments. First, we see this steel bowl. What happened to this bowl? It floats or it sinks. Yes, it floats on the water. Now, what will happen to this spoon? Let us check. Oh my God, it sank to the bottom. Now, I have a small pin. Guess what happened to this small pin? Yes, we put it down in the water. Let us check. And it also sank to the bottom. Now again, I have one another plastic spoon. Let us check what will happen to this spoon. And it's floating. See, the steel spoon was sank to the bottom and the plastic spoon was floating. Here, I have matchsticks. Let us check what will happen to these matchsticks. Yes, and all matchsticks are get floating. See here, I have two coins. Let us check. Yes, it goes to the bottom. It sank. This another coin, I will put it in this steel bowl. See, here our coin is in bowl and both are floating. See, here I have one empty bottle and I drop it in water. What happened? And see, what happened? It floats on the water. Now, I have one another bottle and it filled half with yes, it also floating on the water. And this third bottle, it fully filled with water. Let us check. The third bottle sank to the bottom. Now, let us check what happened to this soap. I put it down in water. Yes, it goes down. It sank to the water. And now, see what happened with this soap case. Gently, I put it down in water and see it get floating. See here our soap case is floating with soap when the weight of object is less than the weight of displaced water at that time the object is floating. Let us check what will happen to this stone. See, the stone sank to the bottom. See, when weight of the object is greater than weight of the displaced water, at that time, the object will sink. Here, we have two things to keep in mind. First, when we put in water or put in water, तो वह अपने लिए जगह बनाती है और उतना पानी साइड में हो जाता है उसे हम डिस्प्लेस वाटर कहते हैं। When a body is immersed in the fluid at that time, an upward force is exerted by the water on that and this upward force is equal to the displaced water of the body and this force is called buoyancy force or buoyant force. In simple words, the upward force exerted by the liquid is called buoyancy force.
next topic is hot dissolve and hot do not dissolve in water further i have taken six glass bowls and already added some water in each bowl and also i have some material see it's salt sugar soy it's oil milk and last one chalk powder now we shall put half spoon of each in one one bowl let us check first salt sugar it salt milk oil and last chalk powder let us see which dissolve and which do not dissolve in water put it down all bowls aside for few minutes yes after 5 minutes you can see salt dissolves completely similarly the sugar also dissolved completely whereas the soil did not dissolve you can see here at the bottom the layer of soil likewise the chalk powder also did not dissolve and in the case of milk here you see the milk was completely dissolved in water and the water also becomes whitish and see what happened with oil oil also did not dissolve in water it makes a separate layer on the surface of water now can you tell me which items completely dissolve in water out of these six salt yes completely dissolved sugar yes soil not dissolved oil not dissolved in water milk completely dissolved chalk powder no similarly you can try this experiment at your home with various items and find out which completely dissolve in water and which do not dissolve in water now we have two glasses and i have already added some water in each glass now i will put one lemon in glass see what happened it sank let us see what will happen with this egg it also sank to the bottom now i am putting half spoon of salt in glass see again i am adding some salt in each glass we observe both glasses for few minutes my dear children it's not magic it happens because of density see our objects egg and lemon both are floating in the water 